came here because there was a debate to be had and the issue was the European Union, which everybody on the panel agreed, is at a turning point. But whether there should be a closer integration of countries or a looser collection of nations. And that's a core issue that I think even in Norway, as of course not a member, but even in Norway, the issue is very much being discussed. Who believes that the European Union is working well? I think that clearly sums it up quite nicely, doesn't it? The crisis has deep, deep tentacles going back many years. They literally built a house, the European Union, on shifting sands. It has a leaky roof, the basement doesn't work. And not only that, to this house, which was already a creaking shambolic uh, mess, they kept adding wings and rooms and turrets. In other words, more and more countries. Now that would have been fine if at the same time they were doing the necessary renovation to make the house secure, but they didn't. And so what we ended up with was a financial crisis in 2008, which literally exposed all that was bad in the house. And now, I'm gonna mix my metaphors, now we are trying to uh, change the aircraft engine or at least repair it while the plane is still flying. It is very difficult to do. It's very difficult to do and that is why Europe is in this most dreadful of states while other parts of the world are enjoying growth again. The core question, does it, do the countries need to get closer or do they need to start drifting apart and unravelling? The pros is that if you get an ever close union, then you get some kind of United States of Europe, which is an entity with carry much weight in the global society, much to the good for the global society, perhaps. If you go for the disintegration uh, within limits, then you get back for the Italians right. to decide for themselves and the Germans to decide for themselves, and they can have different preferences, and now that is not the case. If you look at it <coughs> from a practical point of view, then obviously uh, when we compare business uh, in Europe with what we see in Asia and in the US, then of course we're coming at a disadvantage because we, are, we have uh, too many regulatory issues to deal with. We have um, a system that is supposed to be one EU, but in reality you are dealing with one e EU and 27 governments, and that is a bit too complex for us. You used to have a union, or you started out with a union, then someone invented two-speed uh, Europe, and now you have a 10-speed Europe. You have all these different and overlapping agreements, and that's part of the problem. The issues of European integration, what do we mean by integration, and what kind of the extent of commitment is, is related to that? Everybody agrees that, okay, we have uh, co-dependencies uh, in the market, so we're integrated in that sense. We have contacts, uh, we cross marriages, etc. We have uh, shared rules and regulations. Do we have shared visions, ideas, uh, uh, etc.? And, and I think this is the kind of degree of integration. That's the issue. There is no question, absolutely no doubt, that the thing that is most awful about this crisis, it's almost obscene, it is obscene, is the level of unemployment. 12.1% in the union. Uh, put it in another way, if you are between 16 and 24 and have a job in Spain, you are in a minority. With, an with a youth unemployment rate over 60%. And that to me signifies an entire generation that it may never work, or at least not work for some time. And that, to me, is the number one crisis facing the Union. And what we have seen during this crisis is that actually the crisis has reduced the level of solida solidarity and uh, increased the distrust among citizens, and not only to EU institutions, but also to national institutions, to private banks, and uh, to most actors that are of elites somehow. Uh, well, I tend to always be on the optimistic side. I think that we are going through a huge experiment. We're going to try, like you said, uh, in other words, to, to impose a kind of fiscal discipline that has worked uh, predominantly in the northern part of Europe, but uh, into the, to the south. And I think that the lessons we've learned, what we've been through now, uh, will carry the day. At the end of the day, I think uh, it, will, uh, it will work out. Well, everybody agrees that education is the answer. 
Everybody says education is the answer. More needs to be spent, it needs to be better training, and that's not just university education, there needs to be a better skill set. Just look at today's report that shows that there is a mismatch of skills within the union. So we need certain more technical skills, more vocational skills, all sorts of things. And there's the money there to create it. But now the leaders need to get on and actually do it. And that's one of the things that will be people will be talking about over the next. That's what I expect to hear more and more spoken about. The skills shortage, the, still, the skills discrepancy, and what needs to be done to address that. One thing, one thing that you hope the leaders do in the next 12 months. I hope they will be naive enough to think that if they only focus on growth um, going forward that they will have a chance of re-elected. They may not be right in that, but the only thing to do is to focus on growth and then to leave some of the, uh, eat some camels and take some, uh, some beating, but just go for it. Go for growth. Yes. Enough austerity. Yes, I think, uh, you, you know, you talk about austerity as if, um, as if there was an alternative. You, you know, you have to... You can't have it both ways. Wait, wait, wait. When you go, yes, you can. Because it's about how you spend your money. It's not about always about how much money you spend, but how you spend it. One thing you hope. Uh, fight unemployment. One thing you hope that they do in the next 12 months. I hope they look at the, the, the gross domestic product in the United States and the gross domestic product in Europe. Uh, oh, maybe this way. Uh, yes, that. And that. Yeah, maybe more like this. Yeah. And I hope they uh, they look at those figures and that they realize that uh, this is a time to uh, do something and not just talk. That's your view. I hope that the big bank go broke and that. Uh, they what? Go broke. That They're they, broke. Yes, a big bank go bro goes broke and that the people who have lent the money lose their shirt.